Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking another look at Windows FX 11. Now, if you don't know, this OS is basically a Linux clone of Windows 11. I believe that this is actually version 11.1. .1. Um, the last time we took a look at this was actually in November of 2021. So it has been quite a while since we've had an opportunity to take a look at this interesting operating system. Since the last time we looked at it, I believe they've added Android app support, which we'll probably take a brief look at. Um, I'm not actually sure how that would work on Linux. I mean, I'm sure that there's ways to get that to, you know, work on Linux. Um, but I'm very interested to see, you know, how have we improved in the last, what has it been, two years? Um, so like most Linux distros, and that's way too stretched, like most Linux distros, we have a live environment, but we don't want that. We actually want the real, the real deal. Once again, powered by Linux FX, blah, 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 blah. We're going to erase disk. Yeah, yeah, we're WinFX, FX, not FC. Uh, password WinFX, WinFX. That was interesting. And that's it. So this, that picture right there, that is a real Windows 11 picture. Um, this is all just pictures of the real Windows 11. Um, yeah, that's literally like a Surface Pro. Okay, they're just ripping off pictures here. All right, and here we go after the boot. So we are now, there we go. Because we did the out-of-box experience before we booted, um, or actually in the installer, all we got to do is log into the machine, and, okay, this appears to be our login screen and our boot-up screen, which is interesting. Settings is opening by default, and, okay, we are in. So the first thing I want to do is actually, okay, no. Okay, great. What is it doing? I did not ask it to restart. I did not... I mean, in, unless you guys are watching the video and you saw me click restart, that was not intentional. I don't know why it just did that. I tried to open the start menu to get into the the settings so I can fix the resolution here, but it just it kicked me out. That is not a very good first impression, honestly. But we're back. So let's now try this again, going into system settings, going to system display if you put this in front of a person who doesn't really use windows they wouldn't be able to tell the difference but straight off the bat trash uh, that's not what it's called obviously um, i can just tell just by looking at the icons that this isn't real um, also the system tray doesn't really look the same but this is just me i use windows 11 on a daily basis i know what i'm talking about for for, for the most part um, all right let's take a look at what's on the desktop so far we've got trash linux fx android Linux FX Device Manager, which, wow, that actually looks a lot like the Windows one. Um, and Microsoft Edge, which, is this the real Microsoft Edge? Oh, wait, it is. I didn't actually think that Microsoft Edge was on Linux. Um, but apparently, it made it here at some point. <laughs> I really have no clue when it, when it got here. But okay. This is the real Microsoft Edge. Okay. I don't think that was here last time. Anyways, moving down to the taskbar, we have our show desktop button, our notification button, which that does not look like Windows 11, our time, which also doesn't look like Windows 11, but I do like this a lot, though. I like the, the way that looks. I have the tray button, which that's not what that does, um, and all of these are separate, unlike Windows 11. Any desk is installed by default, which is a little weird, and this is, nope, I am not setting my location. As for the taskbar itself, we have the Windows Store clone, which is the Linux FX Store. Uh, Microsoft Edge, we have Dolphin, which is the file manager. Um, also notice how when you click on something, it opens up in another tab, kind of. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I click this, and it opens up over here, instead of concurrently opening there. Uh, chat, which appears to be... Oh, real Microsoft Teams. I sometimes forget how far Windows has came. Or not how far Windows... How far Linux has came, and the fact that, like, a lot of apps are actually on Linux. Um, okay, this is actually widgets. I actually prefer this to what's available in Windows right now, because, I mean, I can actually put a clock on my desktop. Like, I can't do that in Windows 11. Desktop switcher, pretty cool. The search button, which, okay. And then the start menu. Now, the start menu actually looks pretty close to the real deal. Um... Like, strangely close. Um, we have a whole bunch of random apps installed by default. Uh, some things I want to just point out. Um, let's see. 
Google Chrome's installed by default. Okay. I think I saw Microsoft apps. Oh, this is all online apps. I was like, whoa, there's no way they installed that. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. I mean, a bunch of j just basic Linux stuff, really. Um, clicking on that doesn't really do anything. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. It opens up the settings module. Now's the time I want to take a look at the window borders. Um, so the bottom of them, they're squared. Then the top is rounded and looks like Windows 11, which is... I'm not sure what I think about that. Like, like they're square down here and then they're rounded. Okay. Right-clicking. Whoa, that's a... What happened there? Okay. The entire system is frozen. Like, like everything... It, Okay, never mind. Apparently, it's not all frozen. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on anymore. Okay, so at least settings look similar to Windows 11. Um, maximizing, I mean, yeah, they've done a pretty good close or a pretty good job actually. Um, Linux FX is not activated. I mean, that's really there. Uh, Microsoft support is actually built right in there, so we can actually run Wine and Windows apps on here. Uh, OneDrive, what is this? Is this real OneDrive? Oh, wait. Is real OneDrive actually on Linux? I I am so out of the loop with Linux. I haven't used it in so long. Um, okay. Wow, I mean, that's actually pretty, pretty close to the real deal. So, this was just meant to be a brief overview of Linux FX. Not really anything. Here's the memory sp stuff if you really care about that. Uh, wasn't really trying to dive too deep into it, but I just gotta say, I mean, it's it's close and I feel like it's definitely a good alternative for people who like Windows 11 it would be much better if the stability issues were fixed which it's maybe caused because we're running a virtual machine but like okay apparently I just fixed it that can't happen to a regular user which is why I, I don't really like recommending Linux to regular people like regular computer users just because it glitches out most of the time like you just saw that so with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe from your own here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.